Now let me show you how to use your material estimator's gravel function to determine how many tons of gravel you need to fill any kind of a space, driveways, excavation, trenches, or any kind of volume. First off, you would solve for your, your cubic volume needs. So let's say we have a 20 foot by 18 foot by 4 inch deep driveway we want to fill with gravel. That's 4.4 cubic yards. All I do is hit the gravel key and it tells me that's going to be about 6.67 tons. Maybe I want to round it up by 5% for waste. Brings us up to 7 full tons for that. Now that's based on the default uh, weight per volume value. If I hit recall over the gravel key it says weight per volume. We're using 1.5 tons per cubic yard as the default, but maybe you have another material like sand or decomposed granite that weighs more, so you can set it as a higher rate. We can say 1.75 store uh, my weight per volume. So now when I put in a quantity, it'll come back a little bit heavier. That same, that same driveway at 20 feet by 18 feet by 4 inches, there's our 4.4 cubic yards. The gravel now though is 7.78, add that 5% per waste we did, and you're slightly over 8 tons for the gravel or decomposed granite in this case. Uh, if you'd like to, you can find the uh, cost of this, say it's $17 a ton, we say times 17, convert to cost, you got about $138, $139 worth of uh, DG coming in. So that's a quick overview on the gravel and weight per volume function. For more details, you can download our user guide at www.calculated.com support.